So now we've split it up into two files, but I want to split it up even more. I want to get this mongoose part out of the controller and I also want to get the model out of the controller. The only role of the controller should pretty much be to figure out how to um, get the data from the model or from mongoose, manipulate the data and send it to whoever is requesting it. That should be the only job of the controller. So we want to split this up even further by making this model. Now, I want to also get away from actually making a model in here. I want to use schemas instead. Now, you can read about schemas in here on mongooses.js.com docs, guide HTML, you can see the URL up here. Um, everything in Mongoose starts with a schema. That's kind of the start of it all. So we want to make a schema like this. Their example is a block schema. We're going to make a cat schema. Yeah, you guessed it. Good job. So what do we want to do? Well, I already made the cat model, so I already made the schema here to show you. So what do, what do we actually have in the cat schema? Well, we, have, we require Mongoose and then we generate a schema here about how a cat should look. And let's just make this lowercase instead because that just looks more awesome. I'll save this. Um, so we have a cat schema variable here and now I could start defining all the things inside my cat schema like what else I wanted in here. I could also give him a um, um, uh, favorite color, favorite color, of course my cat needs that and that would also be a string etc etc so here I can define how my cat needs to look this is where I go and I need to change how the cat will be saved in the database nothing will go to the database unless the schema has it we'll get more into that but that means that whatever you post to create a cat if it's not inside this list of attributes it won't be saved in the database period okay that's the power of the schema so we make this schema and this is the cat schema. Now, what we do in the last line here is pretty much we say export this to the mongoose model. So now we can actually start using this file from other classes, right? So now it's working. Now we have the cat file, the cat schema file ready as a model. Then we need to go into our cat controller and use that schema. And we're going to do that by doing another require. So I'll do war cat equals um, require so the require part you guys should start to be familiar with that now because we've used it a few times already but if you're not let's just go back to what it actually does well it pretty much just pulls in another JavaScript file from somewhere and in our case we're looking for the folder where we this file is actually in right now and then we're looking for a file called cat.model and we don't need the .js in the end so now we have our cat I'll just remove this one because that's not needed anymore that was the old cat model that we used. Now we're using cat model from a different schema. Now it didn't look like we made a lot of changes here, but what we actually did change was when this guy starts to grow because the cat or the employee or the whatever really gets big, the only place we want to change this is inside our cat model and we don't want to have to go to our controller ever again. So that was the goal of it. Now the controller is clean. It only takes care of figuring out how to manipulate the data before we return it and then lets the model figure out how to work with the database. That was the goal. Let's see if it still runs, just to make sure that I didn't mess anything up here. Seems fine there, let's do another cat request here, and I have a lot of cats now, but who cares? There we have another cat, it's still 100 years old, those cats. That's it for this lesson.